starting it off with smell the steel bar for 25 points oh here we go 60 mining has been achieved that took a long time actually we can now do a lot of stuff so i'm gonna see if there's any other tasks that i can do for this Wow, one thing I'm finding very slow with the leagues is mining for sure. Um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think trade in these essence, 2,000 essence, I believe. If you trade them in to this guy right here, we will get a task completion. So do I just use them on him? I'm I'm not sure. I haven't done this since this came out, to be honest. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and claim all of these. There we go with a 50 point league task converting day alt essence into shards how many uh sages for now do we get from that three nice all right we're gonna go ahead and unlock um crafting right now 30 points to unlock crafting and then we're gonna go do a bunch of quests this is gonna get us a shit ton of total of us we're left with only six sages renowned so this better be worth it god that quest was annoying three quest points and uh we should be up to 28 crafting now which is beautiful we can go ahead and do the elemental workshops make our draymond staff back and get some more points and there we go elemental workshop part one completed we're up to 43 crafting and we should get a ton of smithing levels too up to 41 smithing as well up to 9 36 total uh, i guess we'll just do the part two. Ooh, there's a nice 25 point task and quest completed you love to see it 50 D smithing and 50 crafting let's go bro all right elvarg is almost done and that is elvar completed i actually did die a couple of times but uh that's okay it is what it is we actually finished dragon slayer without skipping it yes we did <laughs> thumbnail by the way okay this should be the end of dragon slayer i'm super excited about this one this is going to be a ton of experience and uh i guess we just click can i buy a room play body and yes there we go 61 strength and 56 defense up to 68 combat two levels away from konar slayer this is going to be a few tasks here going for the abyss going through to the air altar use the abyss yep five points and then crafting some air runes is going to be another yeah, there we go. Task completed. Craft any type of rune. And there we go with craft any rune using day alt essence. 50 points. And there we go. Craft four runes with one essence. And craft an air rune. And there we go. Craft 50 water runes. Okay, this is going to be some fire rune crafting. Five points. And there we go. Craft any combination rune. Another 25 point task. Oh, and another 25 point task for crafting lava runes. You love to see it. And crafting body runes is another 25 point task and up to 42 rune crafting. Okay, we got a nice little fragment here. What is this? Uh, you've unlocked rune escape fragment. Oh yeah, this one's really good. It's uh, you get better runes at the ZMI altar. That's that's actually really good. So basically level one um you will no longer gain any mind runes level two you will no longer gain mind runes or body runes and uh level three no more any of the elemental runes so you're only going to basically get the good ones and this is also a last recall one as well not bad and the another 25 point task craft uh 50 of the uh, cosmic runes and we're getting close to another one too which is craft 200 of any type of rune and there we go 44 rune crafting we actually just got tier 5 yep there we go craft 200 of the essence into any of the runes all right 3000 league points now you've unlocked uh another fragment the thrall damage and we have uh you've unlocked the fragment to use endless knowledge set effect you can now collect the arcane something from the oh my god okay what does this do um it's a book change spell book wait what the hell really it's a uh, change spell book oh, okay so once i have the endless knowledge set effect i can change my spell book holy all right guys we just got reach a thousand total level and that was a nice um 
25 point task as well we also got the 25 point task for using the large pouch so um, we need 75 rune crafting in order to get the next pouch so i think i'm gonna grind 75 rune crafting it might take about an hour or so but this last recall is really really good so it might take about an hour or so and then that's a nice elite task then there's a couple more tasks we can do with rune crafting and uh this is a good way to get some runes as well all right we just got the three point uh thing for uh 2500 rune essence at once and the cool thing about last recall is if you go ahead and put other relics on or other um one of these fragments it actually saves where you last were so i went and you know mined some more essence and then i was able to actually just keep my last recall active so that that's pretty cool yeah i'm gonna go ahead and buy the acres ruse i know it costs eight kind of stupid to do but uh, i actually can get another rune crafting task out of the way with it and let's see if we get anything from doing this probably not more than likely but uh, anyways up to 87 quest points and there is fill a giant pouch for three more points and this should be craft 50 nature runes for another uh 25 points and this should be another task to get out of the way with rune crafting we're looking at it now we're actually already almost done um all of the rune crafting tasks which is pretty cool and uh it's craft 50 law runes so there we go nice 50 point task and three sages renown making a leather body is a five point task five points making an emerald ring is a 25 point task okay do i just use ball of wool on this oh there we go perfect craft a ruby amulet 25 points and then entering the crafting guild 25 points mything a steel blade body 25 points and then equipping a steel plate body is another five points make a bronze bar is a nice five points smelt an iron bar five points and a five point task for making a schnellum. Look at that shit. Okay, watch this. This is gonna be a ton. I'm gonna go ahead and just bite the bullet and go ahead and unlock the Karand 3 Kingdom Divided 43 Renown. So we should realistically be at 43 for Renown left, but we will get a ton back from this. 20, we gained 115 League Points as well. We're back to 20 Sages Renown. And let's just check. We got all of the favors done as week as well. And up to 96 quest points. Not too bad. These things are still going off. But yeah, obviously 100% in all of the Karen favor as well. So beautiful. And this should be another task. Make a... I made nails. Okay, there we go. This should be another... I'm not sure. Yeah, five point task. Apparently using the bank here is a task. Where is the bank? Oh, it's just like one of these little chests yeah there we go five points five point task from getting one of these fruits oh did we already get the fragment please tell me we already got it home wrecker now what the hell does this one do um right better be the fragment uh home wrecker home wrecker where is it oh this is the one that's stupid uh yeah it has a chance it's a chance of getting double bird's nest Please be the one caught on the trail. Oh, okay. So we got up to 62 fire making and 60 wood cutting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and make this thing called a waka canoe. That's actually a a task for. Uh, I think it's a medium task. So hopefully, yeah, this should be nice and easy. Maybe not with a steel axe, but yeah, there we go. Task completed. Okay, now we can enter the woodcutting guild, and that is another 25 points. And now time to purchase a 40k rune axe. And I think we need to chop a tree with it or something like that. And there we go, a 25 point task. That was expensive. <laughs> Alright now, so the goal is to get the last, or that one uh, relic with woodcutting. So I've got the uh, greedy gatherer and personal banker on now. I feel like if we don't get it by 75, or even 70 for that matter, I'm just going to stop. Yeah, I'm still chopping trees. 68 woodcutting. Um, we also put the other relic on, Greedy Gather, Personal Banker, banking them all, but I still haven't gotten the relic. Um, I, I'm so confused on why I, I want this one so bad, because then once I have it, I can um, do this, the Unchanted Talent, and get a plus 8 boost, and then there's going to be so many more tasks available. Really funny, this guy right here is rank one woodcutting 
Why would you do that, man? He has like, he's 110 wood cutting, 40 mil XP. Okay, what is this? Oh, yes. Yes. That is freaking amazing. Slash and burn. The, oh my god, it took to 69 wood cutting. 50 point task from pickpocketing a hero. And they give you jugs of wine. I didn't even know that. That's kind of interesting. And task complete, achieve your first level 80, 50 point task, not too bad. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually just get up to, um, I guess, 83 thieving, and then I'll have a 91 boost. So I can go ahead and finish most of the thieving tasks in the game to boost our points quite a bit, get us some more sages renown and things like that. Stealing from this gem stall was 50 points, Jesus. And there we go, pickpocket 50 vires, that's another 50 points. And there we go, pickpocket the Menafite thug 50 times, hopefully that's the last time I ever have to do that in my life. And up to 44 renown. And another quick task. Here we go with another task. Nice, that is a 50 point lead task as well, and we still have the next room. I see, so the boost doesn't work here. That's annoying. 25 points for entering the cooking guild okay i think we're gonna bite the bullet and unlock the desert too so basically this if i go ahead and show you we'll do uh, desert treasure contact a bunch of other random quests just to you know get them out of the way and then we can have the ancient spell book it's gonna be amazing and there we go we actually got three sages renown back from that which is always good as well and can i you know change the spell book like this okay okay now i've got the endless knowledge i'm pretty sure i can just change my spell book oh my god so we can go to the arceus spell book and then oh that's not a task um go to the ancient one. Oh, it's so good all right i'm gonna finish this 100 catching lobsters task and then we're gonna tackle magic because there is so many tasks with magic it's actually crazy and there we go cook 100 lobsters that was another uh 25 points okay this should be a couple easy tasks cast a wave spell yeah there we go that was a 50 point toss that's pretty crazy and then the next one here i just have to equip this and oh i gotta take off the cape and equip this and cast the ceridome and strike outside of the mage training arena and there we go 25 more points and enter the guild 25 points okay so we're gonna buy the hat the boots or the gloves and uh, the boots we do not have enough gp right now unfortunately for the other stuff but anyways equip a piece of mystic there we go another 25 point all right so this should be easy task i can just cast this outside of the mage training arena for a nice two point task and then just quickly switch out to I guess I gotta take this stuff off and then like that and cast this on here. And there we go, another two point cast. Now we can elk these stupid staffs. And plus now the alchemania is level two, so it's 30% more, uh, more gold. So let's go ahead and see how much money we get out of this. I'm not expecting too much, 62k each. Not the most, but uh, better than nothing, right? So we are back to 120k. Yeah, I'm going to talk to this guy and spend 80k on an ancient staff. Um, that's going to be a huge plus in magic attack. So going from 30 to 35. And casting Ice Rush. Uh, just find ourselves a guard. There, what? There's no guards here. I need to cast Ice Rush on a guard. Oh my god, Jagex. And just like that, that is another 25 point task and then also teleporting here is a task as well i'm pretty sure so whatever the hell this is 50 points all right taking this boat to moch island easy five points use the bank in nada for five points and make some air shafts without flushing xp for another five points we are up to 49 now and is this going to be a task right away if i just claim the one bucket please yeah there we go 25 point task up to 51 points as well and there we go plant seeds in the patch you know what this means as well now if we go to tasks we have completed all of the easy or i guess beginner tasks <laughs> all right it is time for another quest unlock we have 52 of the renowns now we are going to go ahead and unlock remnick 
three. Look what this gets us, man. So much stuff. We have we'll have access to the lunar spellbook now. We'll have access to crafting all of the uh, astral runes, which is I can already think of two right there. There's so many other tasks that we can get done with this. So we are at 52. This is going to cost 48. So we should have four left, but we're going to have a lot more than that. Anyways, let's go ahead and unlock this we got a total of four extra renowns completed the throne of miscellanea and uh overall we are up to 134 quest points now okay so now if we go to the lunar spell book there we go with a nice 50 point task all right there we go we finally just did a little bit of agility so that we could get the uh this up so we have the 69 magic for the current teleport which is a 50 point task and we can do the moon clan teleport as well with the 69 magic and perfect 50 points oh and apparently banking here is another 25 and crafting 50 astral runes should be a task i think it is i think i remember that one this from this morning I didn't have obviously the requirements for it. Oh god, please tell me we have enough. Yeah. And yeah, there we go. Craft 50 astral runes. Okay, bank here is a 25 point task. And equip the helm of Nezinot 25. And I the same as using a bank here. 25 points. And defeat a Dagonoth is 25 points. All right, so I bit the bullet and quickly finished the Fremenic Easy Diary. It only maybe took 15 to 20 minutes for one point, but then I can also go ahead and deposit with Pure the Seer. And this should be another two points, I believe. So let's go ahead and deposit with this guy. Oh, I need to actually complete the diary. Oh my god. Okay, now that I claim my 30k XP and agility from that lamp, I think that's it. Do I have to actually deposit an item? Let's go ahead and deposit these. And yeah, perfect. There we go. 25 points. All right. So we are at 33 points. I think I'm going to just bite the bullet, guys. And we could actually finish Dragon Slayer 2 right now. But I'm actually going to go ahead and finish Monkey Madness 2. Um, the reason being is just the fact that uh, I'll have the monkey tunnels and I'll be able to do so much with Monkey Madness 2. So, you know, whatever. Let's bite the bullet. We're going to have zero Sages Renown after this. Unless we actually get a task, but doesn't look like we literally get anything. We can now get the Karamja things and stuff like that as well. And keep in mind, this is unlocking Monkey Madness 1, so I can get the Dragon Scimitar. Wow, zero Sages Renown feels really weird, man. Alright guys, so I decided to just come on to Karamja, train a little bit of fire making and wood cutting while I AFK and edit today's video. Yeah, today has been a very big success. We're up to uh, 150 quest points now. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get the, the last couple of the tiers unlocked so that I can go ahead and, you know, really get into Slayer. That's the main thing I really want to do on this league is just get 99 Slayer. I think that would be a lot of fun. We're at almost 11 million XP now, so it's going pretty good. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya later.